What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a fan favorite and a personal favorite of mine. We got Don Fan over here. Don Fan, really cool Pokemon. Cannot wait to showcase him off, and I know a lot of the viewers want to see him, so hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. But is this thing an elephant? Right? He's an elephant, right? He's got the trunk, he's got the tusk, but he's just small. That's what really throws me off. Like, when you think of elephant... You think of like, you know, really, really big. But this thing's kind of just like stubby and really big on the width. But he's definitely a little elephant. Definitely a little elephant. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's you, just don't talk to me anymore. Do not talk to me till you're subscribed to the channel. All right? We understand? We, we compromise? Okay, cool. But let's get started here in the team preview right here. Let's get Dom Fan out here and about. He's got leftovers as his item. And, dude, he's just so cool. He's very, very bulky with his set, and he hits like a truck. Nature for this thing is going to be adamant. Alongside with the EVs, he's going to be attack and HP. Like I said, bulky and hits like a truck. A little bit in speed as it's EVs, like the other four. And then his ability is going to be Sand Belt, which raises his evasiveness in the Sandstorm. So he's going to pair well with the Tyranitar on this team. Move set for this thing is going to be EQ for stab, knock off to take off items, ice shard for first turn priority, and fire fang for its last coverage move. But yo, this thing learns a great move set. Like this move set is so perfect. We got a heavy hitting stab move. We got a move that can take off items. We got a first turn priority move with ice shard, and then fire fang is perfect for coverage up against Pokemon like Scissor. And Scissor is so prominent in this format, it's gonna work just work wonders. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Titar, pairing well with this Dom fan because you know it can trigger the sand veil on the Dom fan due to its uh, Sandstream ability. We got Protect, Dragon Dance to set up, Crunch, Rock Slide, normal moveset for Titar. EVs for this guy is Attack and Speed. Cannot go wrong with it. Titar is just here, outspeed, do some big damage, and just do work all around. Nature for this thing is going to be just like Dom fans, Adamant, and then the item this thing is holding is the Lumberry to take away some status conditions in case they want to burn my boy. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be Raichu over here. Lightning Rod Raichu, I should say, with that Focus Sash. Nature's going to be timid. Special attack and speed for its EVs. Like I said, abilities Lightning Rod. It can soak up them shots. It's just his best ability. You really can't go wrong with Lightning Rod. Then its moveset is going to be Fake Off of Flinches, Nuzzle for Paralyze and Speed Control, Volt Switch to Pivot Out, and Brick Break just to take off screens and a little coverage move for him as well. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be the one and only Togekiss. Normal moveset for him. I'm not even going to go over it. You guys already know it. EVs for this thing is pretty much all around. We got some in HP, some in special attack, some in speed, some in defense. It's it just works too well. This Pokemon is too good and just amazing in all different situations. Nature for this thing is going to be timid to give it a little bit of a speed boost. And last but not least, the item this thing is holding is the scope lens to make this thing crit like crazy. Most of its hits are going to crit and do some big damage all around. So can't go wrong with this item. Cannot go wrong with it. Fifth Pokemon on squad is going to be another physical attacker, and that is going to be Gyarados over here. We gave this thing the Life Orb as its item, alongside with the nature of Jolly, and EVs are going to be attack and speed. Int Intimidate, obviously, as its ability, and this thing is rocking out with a great moveset of Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance, and Protect. Last Pokemon on the squad is Scissor. Can't go wrong with Scissor. He can legit go on any single team and just do work. He's got normal moveset, X Scissor Pull, Punch, Swords Dance, Protect. EVs are HP and attack with the Technician ability. Nature's going to be adamant, and last but not least, its item it is holding is Metal Coat. God, I love the Metal Coat. The Metal Coat's great because it makes this Bull Punch do even more damage. So stack it with Technician, Stab Boost, and then the Metal Coat Boost. It's doing some huge damage all around. Guys, if you want to check out this team for yourself, I got that Poke Pace down in the description below. Just click that description. You got all the moves, all the EVs, all that good stuff about this team. But without further ado, let's hop onto that ladder. Look to get some wins with this Don Fan team. It's time to get a win with the elephant. Don fan time coming at you guys. We're going to lock in the squad here and look to grab ourselves a first win for today's video in battle number one. But look at this guy's team. Got a pretty cool team. He's got Big Daddy Honch on the team. Honch Crow, alongside with Garchomp, Luxray, and Polyon, Miss Magius, and Rose. So I'm thinking I want to lead the Don fan. Don fan could be great. Don fan could be great. And I can lead him with the Raichu. I could lead him with the Raichu in case he wants to lead the Honch Crow. A Volt Switch should be able to do a good enough damage just to kind of dump on that and take it out. And then we can hard swap into the T-Tar. Which could be lovely. Which could be lovely. I really do like that. I really do like that, that lead and that uh, little synergy there. And then last Pokemon, it's got to be Togekiss, right? It's Togekiss or Gyarados. I mean, Togekiss can do work onto the Garchomp, the Honchkrow, and the Roserade. All stat moves, too. Gyarados has Ice Fang, which is super effective to the Roserade, to the Garchomp, and the Honchkrow. Mm, but he does have Luxray. 
So I'm going to go Togus because Luxury does have Intimidate as well. So I'm kind of liking this squad. I'm kind of liking this. Let's rock into battle number one. And let's grab ourselves a win with the one and only L. Let's do it. Let's see who he brings. He's going to end up leading Archop alongside Haunch. Okay. Yo, I'm with this. Don Fan's got Ice Shard for first turn priority. Raichu's here. He's ready to roll. And this guy brought six Pokemon? Oh my lord. This guy brought six Pokemon. I'm just going to go into an Ice Shard here. Do some damage. And I'm just going to Volt Switch out. I'm just going to Volt Switch out. I think Volt Switch can actually pick up the KO instead of going for Fake Out. We can just instantly Volt Switch. He's going to withdraw the bird. Okay. He withdraws the bird and goes into Emperor Penguin. That's totally fine, yo. We'll get a super effective shot onto that. And actually, I might go into Togekiss at this point. I might go into Togekiss at this point. This guy brought six Pokemon? Come on, man. I need my boy Donnie to do some work. So he might go for an EQ. No way he goes for an EQ, right? If he goes for an EQ, he KOs his, uh... He KOs his, uh... Emperor Penguin. He KOs his Emperor Penguin if he does that. I want to go into Togekiss here. Just in case he wants to go into a dragon move into the Raichu slot. I'm kind of with that. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a dig. Okay, so Dig's coming in here. And I, I think he's targeting down this slot. Like, I don't think he's going after Don Fan here. Leftovers is going to poke. And what do we do? Let's drop a free EQ, right? I think I just EQ with Togekiss on the field. And I just, like, try to, uh... Try to make this thing flinch. Wait, that's got to be your play. Try to make this thing flinch. I mean, I, honestly, we'll just protect. But I think Flash Cannon does come across to my Toad Kiss, right? That's got to be the play. No way you go into that water. Go into Flash Cannon, dude. He's going to dig. We're going to block that. Go into Flash Cannon, man. Go into Flash Cannon. He's going to Surf. Okay, Surf's fine. Because Don Fan should be able to soak up a Surf. EQ should be able to poke out here and maybe pick up a double kill. It will definitely kill the Emperor Penguin. He's not going to kill my Don. Yeah, okay, cool. Don Fan soaks up and he, oh, he ends up killing his own Garchomp. Oh, no, he doesn't. He puts him on like one, doesn't he? But EQ's going to be able to poke out here. He puts him on exactly one. And EQ rolling out here with Don Fan. That's a big double kill. That's a big old double kill. I can do a lot from here. I can do a good bit from here. Really does depend who he brings out here. If he brings out Roserade, I know that my Tokus can outspeed and we can win with that. We can get after it that way. But if he brings out somebody faster than Don Fan, I might just want to go into an Ice Shard and try to finish him off. We still have Raichu full health in the back end. He still has Honchkrow, which he might bring out here now. He's gonna bring out Honchkrow. So Honchkrow comes back out here. I could Ice Shard that. But I'm just gonna go into a Dazzling Gleam. And I'm gonna Ice Shard that. Where do I just Air Slash that? No, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna Ice Shard you. I'm just gonna Air Slash this. Because Rose Ray really poses a big threat on me. So Ice Shard's gonna poke here. How much damage are you doing? That's some great damage. That's some great damage with Ice Shard. Air Slash gonna be able to poke through. Give me that crit. Give me that crit and KO the same. Let's go. Let's go, Togi. All day, yo. And that wasn't even a crit. That wasn't even a crit. We didn't even need it. Tokus is just that powerful. He's going to go for a Steel Wing, and we should be able to soak that. Yes, sir, yo. We are ripping up, yo. 4v6. Gotta love it. So, he gets a crit as well. Don Fan's still in this battle, and this is exactly what I wanted. A nice little 4v6 to get us started with the one and only Donnie. Big Don Fan, baby. Cannot go wrong with this guy. I love this Pokemon so much. He's just super, super cool. He's going to go into his next Pokemon, which is going to be Miss Magius here. And Miss Magius is super, super fast. And I kind of just want to go for a knockoff. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go for a knockoff here into you. Or do I just go for an Ice Shard? Into a Gleam. Go an Ice Shard into Gleam. But now nah, we're going to do that. We're going to do this. I think Miss Magius should be fast. So she is going to go for Shadow Ball. And if that goes there for Don Fan, I think Don Fan dies here. It's all right, Don Fan. Rest easy, buddy. Rest easy, Don Fan. You did great. You did great. We didn't get the Sandstorm on, but there was no need for it. This should be able to pick up a double kill, and we're sitting in such a good spot. No, not a double kill. Why did I think it was going to kill this Magnus? I knew it was killing the Honchkrow, but I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I can bring out Raichu. Raichu should be able to outspeed a lot, and I wonder who's his last Pokemon. I'm trying to remember his whole team. It's Luxray. It's Luxray. Luxray is going to come out here for his last Pokemon, and I think in this case, we just get out Raichu, since we have two special attackers. And let the Intimidate not affect us. And then just fake him out. Take out Miss Maggie. So the Gleam. Do some damage over there. And pretty much just win this battle. Right? Right? This battle should be over. This battle's over. A 4v6 with the Don Fan. Don Fan was doing work. Got off EQs. Nice big Ice Shards on Pokemon. He's just ripping. He is just amazing. That guy's going to poke here. And we are just going to go into a Gleam. Yeah. Because I know Gleam will take out the Miss Magius, And it can do some damage on the Luxray. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh my god, dude. I'm hype. I'm hype. Been having fun playing BDSP. A lot of fun using this team right here with the Dom fan. More importantly, a lot of fun when you get those 4v6s. 
Is that a boss gonna poke here? I think Togi eats this, right? Yes, sir. Yo, Togi's bulking it up. And this thing, oh. What's this thing have? Shell Bell? It's Shell Bell. Can we KO still? Please KO that thing. We do. Okay, beautiful. We get rid of it. We get a crit on the Luxray. And we get a crit on the Miss Magus. And it's over with. It is G to the G's. It's G to the G's. Imagine bringing six Pokemon and losing the Don fan. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. But, yo. We the best. We are the best with that Donnie. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go into Brick Break and Air Slash should be, or Dazzling Gleam, she's going to be able to come through here and pick up the KO. I guess these two just canceling. All right, she's going to use Brick Break. And did we, uh, I was going to say, did we lose one Pokemon? But we ended up, we lost the Don Fan. But that's it. That is it. We didn't even use the Don Fan in the Sandstorm. We were just rolling strong, pivoting out at good situations, outspeeding Pokemon, and one tapping them left and right. We're starting this video off on a strong note. 4v6 in our first opponent. Let's hop into our second battle and get the big... Don fan back out into that battle and look for a back-to-back -back victory here. But we're hopping into a really cool team here. He's got a lot of fairies, so Scissor, you gotta be coming in here. He's got Gardevoir, he's got Laminian, he has Milo Tick, Miss Magius, Togekiss, and Rosary. Like I said, a lot of fairy. So Scissor is a must. Scissor is a must, and I think Raichu is a great lead considering he has Laminian, who learns Tailwind. He also has Milo Tick, who, who he could potentially lead. Um, who else should I go into? Here? I could go Scissor and potentially set up a Swords Dance after a fake out, or I could go Gyarados and set up a Dragon. What do I want to do? Or I could go Dom Fan and just use Dom Fan because he's cool. But I think Scissor is just a great lead. Scissor covers a lot here. He just does work. And again, fake out into Sword Sands is cool. We'll bring Dom Fan in the back here. And then last but not least, do I go Tyranitar? I want to go Tyranitar for that Sand Veil ability on the Dom Fan. But in this situation, Gardevoir is super effective to it. Luminion is super effective to it. Milotic, Togekiss, Ro like everything is super effective to that. So I think Togekiss, another special attacker, is going to be. I do like that. I do like that. Let's lock it in here and look to go back to back here for today's video. But Big Daddy Don Fan coming in clutch in that first battle. Doing some work with his EQs. His Ice Shard is doing work as well. But he's going to send out Luminion alongside Milotic. And what we could do here is fake out onto Luminion and set up a Sword Dance. But he could also Hypnosis me, which is kind of tough. He's going to a fake out here. The Luminion and then just drop a Sword Dance, right? Sword Dance got to be apply. Let's set it up. Let's set it up. Fake out coming in here. Yay! Bouncing on that thing, making a flinch. And I believe Luminion learns uh, Storm Drain. Yeah, it does. Okay, so Luminion and Storm Drain. He's just trying to bulk this thing up. And we're going to Sword Dance up. We're going to Sword Dance up. Surf's going to come through here. Surf is indeed going to come through here. That does some nice damage. Sword Dance is going to set up with my boy here. And in this case, we could... We could Volt Switch out. you would like the Volt Switch out. you have speed. We're going to Volt Switch into you. And hopefully maybe take you out. And then just uh, X's or across. Because if, if, if Volt Switch KOs here, then uh, Scissor outspeeds Milotic. Yes, cool. Okay, awesome. So great first turn there. X Scissor outspeeds the Milotic. We could go in the Don Fan. But do we think this X Scissor is KO? I gotta I gotta think. Is this a, if this X Scissor kills, then Don Fan is a great swap. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go Don Fan. I'm gonna say this Swords Dance X Scissor is gonna dump on this Milotic, and Don Fan's gonna be sitting in a great position. He outspeeds. Oh no. Eat this up, Don Fan. You're a beast. You're a beast, Don Fan. That was a bad play by me. I didn't think Milotic would be able to outspeed, but X is just gonna fly through here. And oh, it didn't pick up the KO. It did not pick up the KO. So bullet punch, we're definitely gonna have to bullet punch into that slot. And see how this one plays. Because bullet punch should be able to just poke on that thing, finish that thing off all day. And oh, mm, who's he gonna bring out here? Don Fan was a bad play. Should've got out the token kiss. Should've got out the token kiss, token kiss, but I got really eager just to like lose Don Fan because he's so much fun. He's just too much fun to use, you know? Too much fun to use. Let's see who he brings out. It's any fairy type. He could be fine with that. Let's see. He's going to send out Miss Magus. So Miss Magus is going to fly out here. In this case, I think he's going to target down my scissor. So I could just bull punch in that and just go for a knockoff. Right? Bull punch fly through here onto you. Is that going to pick up the KO? That's the real question. We're sure gonna try it. We're definitely gonna try it. I don't, I don't think it is gonna be able to pick up the KO. But we gotta try it. I wouldn't be surprised to see if it does, though. Because, you know, Scissor's an, a unit. Bull Punch comes out here, and it does. Yo, let's go, Scissor? He's too good, yo. He's too good once you get Sword Dance set up. Hopefully, this Magius goes after my Scissor. Mystical Fire, and he is. Ooh. He gone. Scissor gone. Don Fan coming out here with a huge knock. Can Don Fan get some powerful shots out here? We would love to see it. Knockoff comes out here. Yo. Oh my lord, yo, Don Fan! 
Dude, this thing's a beast. This thing is a unit. Dom fan doing some work. Knocked off its spooky plate. But it doesn't even matter. We picked the KO. We have first turn priority. It's GG's. It is GG's. I could go in the... Uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in the Raichu here. I can fake out. I can go into coverage moves. I can do a lot of work. He's going to throw out his last Pokemon, which is going to be Rose Ray. So, you know, we're just going to fake this thing out. We're just going to throw Ice Shards at it. But I see his two canceling battle, right? Dom fan coming in that back end. I let my scissor go down. I figured that his Miss Magus would come after my scissor. So I was just like, okay, this pool punch KO. We can get off a big damage knockoff. Pretty much take him out and roll out from there. But in this case, we're just going to go for this uh, Fire Fang. Fire Fang alongside a fake out. Can't go wrong with it. Let's see what he does. Does he cancel? He does not cancel. Fake out coming out here. And can Don fan coverage move win us the match? If not, we're just going to ice shot. So Fire Fang coming in here. Dude, Don fan so good. This thing is good. It's real beefy, considering we did go up against a bunch of special attackers. It's, it was able to circle shot, but it's so beefy, and it can do a lot of damage. Right now, it's Don Fan domination. We are dominating with Don Fan in today's video. Let's hop into that third and look to grab ourselves a perfect record. We've been playing so well in BDSP. Grab perfect records left and right. Let's try to keep the streak going, but this one's going to be tough. This one is definitely going to be tough. He has a really strong team with Arcanine, Zapdos, Garchomp, Ludicolo, Scizor, and Tokus. Don Fan's going to be great here, considering it's super effective up against that uh, Arcanine, the Garchomp with the Ice Shard, and it cannot be affected by any electric moves coming out from that Zapdos. So I might just lead the Sand combo, but I could definitely see Arcanine coming in as a lead. I could definitely see Arcanine coming in as a lead. I definitely want to bring the Tyranitar and Don Fan, but do I want to lead them? Do I want to lead them? I'm thinking I definitely want to bring them, and then alongside with Gyarados? Because Gyarados has Intimidate, it can just do work all around. And then maybe Scissor in that back end. Scissor could be nice. Scissor could be nice. Or Tokus. It's either Scissor or Tokus. Or I could go Raichu. Raichu ain't too bad with just like nuzzling up and kind of just doing it that way. I definitely see Arcanine coming in as a lead. I don't know why. I just see it happen. So let's rock in with this. Let's rock in with Raichu? Or do we just go with Don Fang? We could go Titar. Titar is really not bad. I do have Lumberry on him and I could just drop Rock Slides. Or I could go Don Fang just for free EQ. Definitely could be a play. I'm going to go in with them too. I'm going to bring T Tart in the back end. And then last but not least, Tokus or Scissor, yo. It's such a tough call. It is such a tough call. And I'm leaning more towards Scissor here. I'm leaning a bit more towards Scissor here. Just because that Tokus really posed there. Actually, let's go Tokus. I feel like my Tokus 1v1 could really kind of just be out there, Tokus. So let's rock out with it. Let's look to grab ourselves a perfect record and a win here in battle number three. But yo, we already showed off Don Fan really, really well. Really, really well. He's gonna go in with Arcanine and yo, I knew it. I, I had a feeling. I knew it. Dom Fan and uh, Gyarados are gonna come out here, and Intimidate's really gonna affect us a good bit. But I feel like we're chilling here. I feel like we are chilling here. We can go into a free EQ, we can go into a waterfall, we can go into an ice fang, whatever we really wanna do. Whatever we really wanna do. And I could just see Follow Me just pop out here in turn one, right? So I definitely wanna drop an EQ, because I could do some mean damage on the Arcanine. Even though we are Intimidated, I just still feel like it can do a good amount. And then Waterfall's gotta come out. Or we could D dance. Or we could indeed D. We are life for it. But you know, we're just gonna do that. And we're just gonna drop an EQ at the same time. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's see what he goes into. Show me a follow me. I would not mind a follow me. That's pretty much just like a waste of a turn. Even though Arcanine could probably survive. But still, I just see it being more so a waste of a turn. I wouldn't mind if he goes in that. We got Waterfall popping. I feel like Life Orb kind of like neglects that intimidate a little bit. But I feel like this Dom fan EQ could do some work on Arcanine, even though we're minus one. I just want to see that happen. I just want to see that happen. I wonder where he's going into. Maybe like some burns, Willowis. Flare Blitz is going to come straight out here. It's my Don Fan, though, right? Don Fan should be able to surf. Look how beefy that thing is. It's a beefy Don Fan. That's a beefy Don Fan. Really great defensive stats. And this thing is bulked on HP. Waterfall is going to come out here. That's some big damage. Gotta love it. Don Fan is going to be able to pop out an EQ and finish off this thing. And finish it off. And I kind of want to swap my Arcanine. Or not my Arcanine. Oh, he's going to yawn me. Oh, I'm fine with that because I want to swap him anyway. I want to swap my uh, Gyarados anyway. Don Fan's EQ is going to poke out here. We're going to say bye bye to Arcanine. And I'm just going to swap straight into the T Tar here. I feel like swapping straight into the T Tar is definitely in play. Get rid of the minus one and the yawn on our Gyarados. We can have Intimidate for the back. And more importantly, we get Sand Shimon out here and Sand Bell Proc and Honor Dom. I understand that, like, Togekiss, it can do big damage onto my T Tar. But I feel like if we just start ice sharding and kind of just chipping away damage onto that Togekiss, we can be sitting in a great position. But again, that play is not going to be solidified until he throws out his next move. Because it really determines who he goes out into. He's going to go Ludicolo. Ludicolo is going to come out here and... Uh, it's kind of tough. That's kind of tough. But I still kind of want to swap. I mean, we could go Tokus. We could swap into Tokus. I'm trying to think. 
Oh, it's who cares? Water's really water's just doing me dirty. Might have to let Don Fan drop out here. He does have fake out ready to roll, and I think he might fake out onto my other side. Actually, I could just knock off Tokus's item. But I think Ludicolo might be holding Light Bulb. So, you know what? I'm just going to knock off Ludicolo's item. And I think Fake Out is going to go come into the Gyarados slot, which is now Togekiss. So, Lud Ludicolo really throws off her points. I really want to get out that Sandstream, but it's just like, oh my god, he has two really good Pokemon to counter up on my T-Tar. Togekiss is going to protect. Good thing we're knocking off that on that Ludicolo. Ludicolo, Fake Out my Togekiss. Let's see. Hydro Bomb. Oh, no. That's taking me out. That's taking out Donnie. Don Fan, no! Don Fan gone. He gone. It's all right. It happens. Maybe if we would have went into that Sandstream, I'm not even going to lie, we probably could have dodged it. Hydro Bomb. We probably could have dodged it, but I still like the position we're sitting in here for battle number uh, two. We're going to bring out T-Tar here and... Wait, or do I just bring out Gyarados? T-Tar could be the play and just protect him and go into the Ashes and stuff. We're getting, we, could go into we could go back into Gyarados. Maybe set up a D-Dance. I kind of like Gyarados. I kind of like Gyarados with this life orb. Don Fan's going to drop out here, and that is going to be the last we're going to see him for today's video, but it's all good. Battle number one and battle number two, we got to showcase him off. And he got to pick up a nice big KO onto the Arcanine. I was really expecting the fake out to come out, not a Hydro Pump. But like I said, if we probably would have just stuck with our gut and went to a Sandstorm, Hydro Pump's already low, low enough accuracy. So give us that evasiveness bonus. I feel like Don Fan's just dodging out with Sand Bell. Could have been really, really good. Could have been really, really good. But I'm just going to go to an Air Slash from here and could protect it. Well, I think I'm just going to D-Dance up. I think it's time to just D-Dance up on the Gyarados. Maybe just set him up and try to win this battle. He's going to protect. The D-Dance is going to be great. And what's he going to go into with Togus? Maybe another Yawn? He's probably going to Yawn me again, right? He's probably just going to Yawn me. He's going for another Yawn. Air Slash gets blocked. And I just see another Yawn popping out from Gyarados or onto my Gyarados, right? Yeah, yawn. Yeah. Okay, so there it is again. We could swap, but I might just keep this thing in. I might just keep this thing in, because an air slash should be able to do enough damage to take out Ludicolo. He can't protect, and we could just go into an ice fight. Which is what I'm going to do. That's my play. Tokus could protect if he does, you know. We're just going to go to sleep, but I, I just don't think swapping is the play here. Tokus goes for following me. I'm cool with that. Gyarados should outspeed and maybe. Just maybe pick up the KO. If it does, that's that's an enormous turn. Gyarados can use Ice Fang. Give me the KO. Nope, not enough damage. Air Slash should be able to come in here, finish this thing off, and Ludicolo is going to be able to get off a turn here, and Gyarados is going to go to sleep. But it's good to know that uh, Togekiss does outspeed the Ludicolo. Oh, we don't... Togekiss! You don't get the crit? What you mean? Oh my lord, dude. That's rough. That's rough. We do not get the crit. He gets off another turn. Ludicolo is just going to go for a Giga Drain. Get some damage. And do some big damage. <sighs> that's tough news. That's... That, that, that's tough news, guys. That is real tough news. He could go into another Protect, which I can definitely see happening. I think we just Air Slash into his Toga slot. I think he might Protect here. And I guess we'll go into an Ice Fang if we can. If we can, we'll go into an Ice Fang. Dude, that's so rough. We don't get a crit when we need to crit the most. We would have just taken out that Toga Kiss. Oh my god, we would have been thriving. We would have been thriving. And then we still have our uh, T-Tar in the back. My poor Dom fan, I wish we still had him, but this thing just... I'm straight for the Hydro Pump on me. No fake out. No remorse on me. That's why I do wish we do rock uh, Protect on him. But I really do like it. I really do like all the moves that Don Fan has. Gyarados is going to be slumped. I think he just takes out Gyarados with the Giga Drain, right? Air Slash is going to poke here. Can we get a crit this time? Maybe pick up KO. Maybe do some big damage. Yo, Tokus, you're 0 for 2 on crits here. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. He's going to go in the Ice Beam. Ice Beam is going to finish me off. And he gets a crit. This thing's probably not even Scope Weds or Super Locked. And this thing's poking crits. We're 0 for 2 on the crits right now. 0 for 2. We got to bring out T-Tar here. And I could protect him. Could drop a Rock Slide. Um, what do we think he's going to go for? Tough. Sandstorm is going to pop. We're sitting in a real top. I could follow me in Rock Slide, which might have to be my play here. They're going to follow me, and we're just going to rock slide. We're slizzling. We're rock slizzling here. It's going to be a close one. He could go for Dazzling Gleam, but, like, Dazzling Gleam's not going to kill me. Dazzling Gleam will not kill my T-Tar. Follow me's going to come out. Unless he gets a crit. Unless he crits, and maybe, just maybe that could do enough damage. But follow me's going to come out here, and T-Tar's just outspeeds him anyway. And dude, the Togekiss dodges. We needed to take out the Togekiss. Can we get a flinch at least on a Ludicolo? Give me a flinch. 
He's going to Hydro Pump. Oh, thank God. Tokus dodged that one. Thank the Lord. Tokus going to go for Yawn. He's going to Yawn onto my Tokus. So I can just go for Follow Me and another Rock Slizzle. He could Double Protect, which could definitely be his play. But we know he outspeed both his Pokemon, which is... There's a Protect coming out. Actually, we don't even have to go for Follow Me. We don't even have to go for Follow Me. We're just going to go into a Gleam alongside with a uh, Rock Slide. What a good third battle. What's, what a good third battle. So Follow Me is just... We don't need it. We don't need it. I could honestly Dazzle and Gleam and bank on the crit on Ludicolo and just D-Dance. That's probably what I should have done because he is protecting. But I just think I'd go for the safe play. Oh, that's fine. Yo, D-Dance would have been the play, man. D-Dance would have been the play. Gleam's going to pop out of here. He's just going to double protect just to make sure my Tokus goes to sleep. I still think we're sitting in such a good position because Buffett's going to chip away Ludicolo, make this next Rock Side be able to kill him. And Tokus is legit on one health. So whatever, whatever that thing touches, it's going to die. So all we got to do really to win this battle and get ourselves that perfect record is land this rock slide. And right now my crit RNG isn't there. So hopefully my rock slide RNG is up. As you know, it kind of works as waves. Kind of works as waves. Crit RNG down means rock slide RNG goes up. Tokus is legit sitting on one and I could protect. I could honestly protect, which might have to be my play. My play is one slow. Might be a little bit better. Yeah, let's protect. Let's protect. Let's just let this Tokus go down the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at Ludicolo. Yo, dude, this sombrero hat's hilarious. <laughs> we protect our big rock monster. Only if we had more boy Donnie. Rest easy, Donnie. Tears coming down my eyes right now. He's gonna go for follow me. Shh, that's fine. That's fine. Look at this slump. We're just wasting out these sleep turns. Go after my Tyranitar, please. Ice Beam goes after all. Buttered this guy. Tokus is able to eat up all day. Ludicolo is going to take some life orb damage. Buffets are going to take out Togekiss. And Buffets are going to chip away Ludicolo. Okay. All right. So Gene's sitting good. It really comes down to who is his last Pokemon. But he has one more, right? We took out Arcanine. And then he threw out Togekiss and Ludicolo. He should have one more. He should have one more out of the four. Communicating, please stand by. Unless is, is this Ludicolo last one? Pretty sure he has one more. Yeah, one more comes out here and it's Chomp, dude. Imagine if we had Don Fan. Imagine if we had Don Fan here. This one's looking a little tough for us. We know we outspeed the Ludicolo. I could protect you. But you know, we're just gonna go into straight Dazzle and Gleam. I'm just gonna rock slide. We're just gonna rock slide because I know that takes out Ludicolo. Ludicolo. Oh, buttery biscuit, dude. Please don't tell me your sword's dancing. Wake up. Wake up, Tokus. He's gonna rock slide. Ouch! That's tough news. Okay. Mm, he has EQ. He definitely has this one in the bag. He's definitely winning this one. Rock slide. Nice protect from him. I could have D-Dance here. I could have definitely D-Dance. He's just going to chip away some damage onto the Chomp. Not too bad. And we have to go into another Rock slide, right? Well, yo, Tyranitar. Dude, why is Tyranitar critting and my Toke is not? Whew, rough. All right. What's our play here? We just got to go straight into a Rock slide again because it takes out Ludicolo. And we need Garchomp to start like missing something along those lines to make up for our crit misses. Come on, yo, Garchomp. Miss out on the CQ. Go for a Dragon Claw. Should be able to soak up a nice... Okay, we soak that up pretty well here. Rock Slide's going to poke here. Ludicolo is dead. Garchomp's going to take some hits. And... Ooh, how, how is this one going to go going to go out here? How is this one going to go out here? Tyrantar gets another crit. Dude. What is going on? What is going on here? Sandstorm subsides. And he can just go into free EQs. That's GG's, right? That's GG's. God dang, dude. Two and one with Don Fan. Yeah, there's the EQ. Two and one with the Don Fan team. Definitely should have went three and our Don Fan went out early this round, which is a little rough. And we didn't get no crits on Tokus, which I think we would have won the battle if we would have killed that Tokus a lot earlier. Don Fan dominates battles. There's no other way to put it. This thing is amazing. Has a high HP stat, high defense stat, high attack stat. And then with the EVs that we threw on it, HP and attack, it's just super, super good. It's able to bulk up a lot of different shots, do big damage on a bunch of different Pokemon. And its move pool is phenomenal. It has first turn priority move, great coverage moves, great stat moves, and it does learn knockoff, which you can take off items with. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below other Pokemon you guys would like to see me showcase in BDSP. And if you guys have Poke Pace of BDSP themes, leave them down in the comment section down below as well. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.